Hey everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. Welcome back to my fragrance review channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mini fragrance review of one of my miniature fragrances. I'm going to be talking about Dior Joy, which is a fragrance for ladies that was released in 2018. Now I'm a little bit closer to the camera today because I do not have the full-sized bottle and box to show you. I just have the little miniatures. They're quite small. Not pure joy, more like slight happiness with this size. So I'm going to start off with the box. The box is quite simple. Um, we have a very white front with light pink sides on either side of the box as well as the top. Joy Dior is written in silver writing with a nice silver frame. And then the bottle is quite simple as well. It's very chic though. It's a tall cylindrical bottle with a silver lid. The lid is actually, um, it kind of looks like it's made out of strings, like very, very thin silver strings that are wrapped around the lid of the bottle. The fluid is a very light pink, and um, Joy Dior is written on the front in the same style as it was written on the box, with Dior being in the center of the O. I have a picture of the larger versions of those, just to give you, give you a better representation. Um, with the larger bottle, the, the, the fluid is, I guess, pinker. Um, it kind of comes across more as um, that nice rose color, and the box is a little bit more um, white, I suppose. I also want to show you the advertisement while I have this out. So the model for this fragrance was Jennifer Lawrence. I think she's been the model for Dior for quite a while now. She's done a lot of their gowns and everything, so she's going to be part of the fragrance um, marketing campaign as well. So we have her in a pool of water uh, with Joy Dior written on the bottom and a picture of the bottle. In the commercial, we have her swimming around in the pool wearing a couture Dior gown. There was actually another... Um, advertisement that was sort of circulating during the um, introduction of the fragrance um, that shows a little bit more. Uh, so we have Jennifer Lawrence yet again. Now this is sort of before she's entered the pool. So she is just sort of sunbathing on this surfboard, I suppose, as she floats around dreaming of Dior right before she takes the eternal plunge. Okay. So this fragrance is a um, very sheer floral fragrance uh, that is perfect for springtime or summer wear. It's a daytime fragrance and um, I wanted to read you a quick little sort of description from the website. It is a fragrance illuminated by the vibrant smell of flowers and citrus fruits, the smooth caress of woods and the serenity of musks. A fragrance with a thousand nuances and facets, yet crystal clear. I think it's a pretty good sort of introduction to the overall theme of the fragrance. There's one other thing uh, that the perfumer said. I won't tell you it just yet, but it sort of resonated with me and I found that it, it was a very good um, sort of, I guess, metaphor for the fragrance. But before we, you know, before I share that with you. Uh, let's talk about the top note of the fragrance. So in the top note, as you could probably expect, that is where we find the citruses that were mentioned just earlier. We have the mandarin orange and the bergamot. So it has a sort of typical standard kind of citrus opening for these fresher kind of floral compositions. Nothing too crazy here. Um, it does bring the fragrance out in a zestfully um, opulent or joyful kind of expression. It is quite bright and fresh and very inviting. This is definitely one of those fragrances where all the notes really contribute equally um, and they're all present right from the get-go. So even though the top, of course, is dominated by that opening of citrus, we very quickly get into um, the whole joyful expression that the fragrance has, where we get both the, um, the flowers from the heart and the base notes all kind of coming right away to sort of welcome you to this new world. Um, the flowers in the heart are grass, rose, and jasmine. Um, now, 
I don't really think that this is a very rosy fragrance. There are some of those fragrances out there with rose absolute or rose water where it just smells very much like roses. I don't think that's the case here. Um, I don't smell a particular floral at all. It very much is not a representation of a flower or a citrus. It is, I think the reason they called it joy because it more is like a feeling. So, so as I said, everything kind of comes together and gives you that very uplifting, very um, energetic and sort of soft, yet it's, it's expressive but delicate kind of feeling of a very citrusy, clean, fresh, floral kind of fragrance. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, I've smelled a million fresh floral fragrances. You know, how does this one sort of stand out? And when I first read up on this before I got the little mini, I kind of th thought the same thing. I thought, well, this is going to be a boring little, you know, pink fresh fragrance. We've had a million. But what sort of stands out a little bit, or why I kind of like this one a little bit more than the average sort of pink floral, um, is that the base of the fragrance has very creamy musks and very soft sandalwoods that really sort of um, elevate this fragrance and make it sort of airy and very silky and comforting, uh, more so than the average uh, citrus floral. It's sort of cozier than you would expect. Um, I enjoy wearing it. I think it's very um, charming and it does sort of have a sense of light happiness to it. Um, so the little thing that I wanted to read you from the perfumer himself, uh, you know, the guy who actually designed it. So he says, Joy by Dior expresses this remarkable feeling of joy by offering an olfactive interpretation of light. Um, and I thought that was sort of interesting because, you know, you think of light, what does light smell like? It doesn't really have um, a scent. And the ad campaign, we have Jennifer Lawrence you know, it's a very crystal blue sky, the light is shining on her, the, the water is reflecting the light, everything is just very light and airy and clear. I feel like we can sort of bring that interpretation back to the bottle itself because it has that sort of reflective silver to it and the very light pink and, um, it, you know, it's, very, it's a crystal clear bottle that was also sort of mentioned. And um, I think it's, it's more of a, an expression than... Um, a representation of individual notes, as I sort of said earlier. Um, so, overall, I, I'm, I'm kind of talking a lot for this one, sorry. I'd like to sort of bring this all together in a more cohesive um, summary, if I will. So, let's just bring our little biddies back here. Joy by Dior is a sparkling, joyful, floral fragrance that is very creamy and um, smooth and silky. I find it comforting. I find it to be a very good daytime fragrance. We start off with our standard citruses, our mandarin, our bergamot. We go into the heart of jasmine and grass rose that do not smell like jasmine or rose. They just have an overall um, sort of floral interpretation. The fragrance itself is sort of trying to represent light and sorry and that joyful um, mood you're in when you're sort of enter this bright beautiful summer day. Um, water is a good sort of way to kind of represent it as well as it is fluid and soft and bright and um, overall I think it's a very wearable, very pleasant and inviting citrus floral with a silky smooth and creamy undertone. It's a nice sort of change from a lot of the Dior fragrances like Miss Dior or J'adore or Poison, you know, they're stronger, very bold fragrances. This one's a little bit um, a little bit softer. It's nice to see a sort of lighter offering from them, but it still is high quality, long lasting. The, the citrus florals, they smell very nice, they um, open well and they kind of fizzle off. I feel like this one at least sticks around. I wouldn't really recommend to go swimming like Jennifer Lawrence did. I feel like that's going to wash it right off. Um, so, you know, don't go swimming. But you can at least lounge around the pool in a joyful and charming way. Okay, so that is the end of my review. There is an intense version of this, which I haven't smelled yet. I'm actually very curious to try it now, um, especially after you know talking about this for so long. I, um, I haven't tried it, but I would really like to give it a shot to see um, how it's different. But for now, we'll just leave you with the review of the original Joy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it um, helped you. 
in understanding this fragrance a little bit more. Um, please subscribe to the channel and like the video if that is something um, you're interested in doing. And I will see you guys next time for some more fragrance reviews.